Hi, today we will be looking at how to use uh, Whois lookups within PowerShell. I will just kind of note first of all that we are going to be using an external binary that is made by awesome individuals. I believe it's sys internals. So I just want to get that out of the way. But first and foremost, I'm just going to download a list of newly registered domains. And I'm going to go ahead and open this up, check inside here, and just see, OK, here's you know, here's some random different new domains. And then now I'm going to hold the Windows key, tap X, tap A, tab, tab, space to open up. Uh, administrator level PowerShell. And at this point, I'm going to paste in the script, which you will find a link down below or to the side, wherever on YouTube, to go ahead and copy the same script. Uh, this is a PowerShell script or a snippet more so that I created, which enables you to uh, go ahead and do who is lookups anytime that you want to. As you can see here, we just actually ran that and pretty much immediately that worked so um the the, the speed to that was just outrageous it, it was literally immediate um and that's what i like to do i like to make things that just work really damn well and as you can see we just did um or actually we are connecting to uh who is servers.net um attempting to and in just a brief moment, we should see we should see this work. Okay, so this who is lookup uh, utility it actually appears to not support um, you know dot site domains. So kind of kind of a downer, kind of sucks a little bit, but we can definitely do dot coms. I I know for sure it does dot coms. So as you can see, it is connecting. So now it's trying to say that no connection could be made regarding that. OK, this is definitely going to it. It should it should definitely work with this shop domain. No such host is known. The server is busy. What is going on? Okay, so that works. Yeah, so here we can see all the good information, all the details. You can see when the domain was uh, last updated. Uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and try this .co domain. Okay, so cool, that one worked. And one thing that we can do if we wanted to is we can look specifically when the domain was created um so what i tend to do for that is i'll go ahead and just do a find string and then so if i run that who is search we should shortly get back only the created date Perfect. So as you can see, it does it does go ahead and come back with that. Um, and then just to showcase that this really does work and you know, we could go ahead and do the same thing here with a different random domain. Let's just go ahead and scroll down and let's pick let's pick this ICU domain. Perfect. So there you go. Uh, there you have it. We have who is working right within PowerShell, which is really awesome. If you typically run on you know, a Mac OS or if you're typically on Debian, Ubuntu, whatever OS you're normally running on, just about all of them, most of them support who is in some capacity. Uh, so it is quite a pain. It's quite quite annoying that we don't have who is native on Windows. 
So with that said, being able to just type who is, I uh, you know, into the future is super convenient. And hopefully you found this video helpful.